I don't know about you, but there is nothing more frustrating to me than when my editing software slows me down. If you're struggling with lag in DaVinci Resolve, then I've got six easy steps to improve performance and help you edit faster. If you're not familiar with the term, lag is a decrease in responsiveness that you can feel while editing. You'll know you're dealing with lag when you hit play and experience a slight buffer before the video starts. Edits might stutter, deletions could occur, and importing video clips can take forever. One way to see if Resolve is experiencing lag is to check the frames per second or FPS counter located at the top left of the viewing monitor. If the FPS counter has a green light, then DaVinci Resolve is running smoothly. However, if the FPS drops and has a red light, then that's a sign of laggy playback. The first step in fixing lag is to make sure that your system meets the minimum hardware requirements. If your system doesn't meet these requirements, it's most likely that your computer simply isn't powerful enough to run Resolve without lagging. This is just an unfortunate reality that you may need to face. The Blackmagic RAW speed test is also a great way to determine what footage you can edit without issues. Since DaVinci Resolve is GPU oriented, you should consider upgrading your GPU if it's old, underpowered, or simply doesn't perform well during this test. If your system meets the minimum requirements, the next thing you should check are your graphics card drivers. If you're using a NVIDIA graphics card on a PC, you should know that there are two types of drivers, gaming and studio drivers. The studio drivers go through testing before each release, while game-ready drivers come out more frequently. If you're using a game-ready driver, then you may have an unstable installation that could affect performance with DaVinci Resolve. To switch to the studio driver, open the NVIDIA app from the notification panel, then navigate to the driver tab and select studio driver from the drop-down menu. Another way to make DaVinci Resolve run faster is to optimize Resolve's memory and GPU settings. You can access these settings by navigating to the DaVinci Resolve menu tab, selecting preferences and going to memory and GPU. Then, in the memory configuration settings, you can increase the amount of system memory that Resolve has access to and make sure that the GPU configuration is set up correctly. Even if you have a newer, more powerful GPU, shooting in high resolutions can be very demanding on your system. In this case, changing the timeline resolution to 1080p will improve playback. To change your timeline resolution, right-click on the timeline file in the media pool to open up the timeline settings menu. Then, uncheck Use Project Settings and update the timeline resolution to 1920 by 1080 HD from the drop-down menu and click OK. If changing the timeline resolution doesn't fix the lag, try changing the preview resolution. First, go to the top navigation and select Playback, Timeline Playback Resolution. Then, change it to half or quarter. Keep in mind that decreasing the resolution may make editing harder because you won't be able to see the true quality of your footage. Though, for high resolution footage, I rarely find this to be an issue. If you've done all of the previous steps and you're still experiencing lag, then you can try generating optimized media or proxy media. These processes create a playable and editable version of the original media file that might have been too dense for your machine to handle. You can access these settings by right-clicking a media file in the media pool, then selecting either Generate Proxy Media or Generate Optimized Media. Optimized Media transcodes the original files into a more editing-friendly format, but typically at the same resolution. This process retains a high-quality version stored in the location of your choice. Proxy media are lower resolution versions of your original clips designed to be lightweight and easy to edit. The trade-off is that there will be a loss in clarity with proxies and some potential color shifts. To adjust the settings for proxy media, go to DaVinci Resolve, Project Settings, Master Settings, Optimize Media, and Render Cache. Keep in mind that when creating optimized media, Resolve will be storing these high resolution files somewhere on your desktop, so it's important to make sure that you have enough storage space for them. When using proxy media or optimized media, it's important to remember that you're no longer in the original color space and codec of the file that was originally generated. This is especially important when you're in the color page, since you're not grading the true version of your footage. To turn off optimized media, you can go to the playback menu and disable the proxies or uncheck the use optimized media if available setting. And there you have it, six easy ways to make DaVinci Resolve run faster and reduce laggy playback. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free 4K footage, DaVinci Resolve templates, music, 
and more.